Sunday. Yes, of course. You know, when when you have the disappointment of losing two points last week, you won a game straight away. Start of the season has been a little bit different with uh, than last year. We had loads of games early on. Now we've had a week in between, so we've been training well, and uh, I think the boys are ready. Everyone yeah, fully fit or Yeah, we're we're still missing uh, Scott, obviously, who's uh, who's had the surgery this week. Marcus, Alex, Dean Henderson, they're not ready. Uh, but apart from that, we have a fit squad ready to um, to fight for points. Absolutely. I see the transfer window wide open at the moment. Just tell us where we are with some players. Jesse, no, Jesse, I see him as a Man United player. Uh, I know there's been loads of speculation about him, but he's, uh, he's had a very good pre-season, just been picked for England uh, in the squad. It's just been unfortunate that he got Covid just before the league started and he would have 100% started the first game because of the pre-season he had, so we can see him um, doing well this season. Obviously, one player who hasn't been in Gareth Southgate's plans is Mason Greenwood. Is that kind of good news for you, though? I guess disappointed with him, though. Uh, I think Mason's on the right track. Uh, I've had conversations with uh, Gareth. He sees him as a potential uh, England uh, striker forward. We potentially see him as a very, very good uh, talent. I think he's taken step by step and. The way Gareth wanted to manage that one, I, I felt very comfortable with, and uh, I think Mason's uh, on the right track, definitely. I mentioned the transfer window, obviously it's wide open, and it looks like your arch-rival City are doing big business in terms of Cristiano Ronaldo. How will that affect your title hopes, do you feel, if they get a player like Cristiano Ronaldo? Well, we focus on the ones we have here. I uh, don't want to speculate too much on Cristiano, of course, what's, uh, what's happening there in the press. and. Uh, uh, I've said many a time with the speculations, you have, when you're at Man United, when you're Messi, when you're Ronaldo, when you're Pogba, Bruno, you have to read a lot about yourself. So let's see what, uh, what happens with Cristiano, because he's such a legend of, of this club. Andrew Mitten. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Andy. Are you happy with your squad now, or does a manager always want more players and more options? Any, any manager, like Jose said last week, is always looking for uh, a little bit more. But I have to say that the transfer business that we've uh, done this summer, of course, we've, I'm happy. I'm happy with, uh, with the I call it, say, numbers we have, with the quality we have, with the personalities we brought in, you know, with the atmosphere and the, the spirit in the squad is, is really good. The, the staff with them, I think they... Uh, they, they fit each other really well and um, you're never comfortable, of course you're not as a manager, but you, you go to work and you, you see the chemistry is there and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with what we, uh, what we got here.